What's going on guys, it's you here bringing you another review on My Hero Academia. This episode had a lot, I will say. It was pretty fantastic. I really enjoyed it. It was one of the ones that I'll remember for a long time because it wraps up this whole story arc. Like, even the overhaul story arc. And how, well, I'll get to that in a minute. But we start off with Hound Dog arriving and taking Gentle and La Brava kind of, I guess you could say, under arrest. But we see that there's some questioning going on. He smells a student was on him. Midoriya shows up. And, you know, I still feel bad for Gentle and La Brava. Especially with, you know, Gentle trying to cover up for La Brava throughout this whole situation. She isn't brainwashed. He says that she is... Um, she's, he says that he was the only one involved, that she had nothing to do with this, La Brava is crying, obviously, you know, there's not much you can do at this point, you know, he's trying to ease, like, I guess you could say the guilt off of her, to try to get it off of her, and not make it seem like she was, you know, part of anything, but unfortunately, she's still involved, you know, she's an accomplice. And regardless of how Gentle wants to play it off, there's no there's no way that that's going to make it better. And as Gentle's being taken away, we see that he actually tells Midoriya that, you know, that hopefully the feelings he wants to be reached, well, the people he wants to reach can be reached. And Deku even thinks about how him and himself are very much alike. You know, he could have ended up like Gentle had things been a different way and it's crazy because it really is they are really similar and uh, uh honestly i'm i'm glad that this fight happened and even though some people may disagree and think it's fillerish i think it was still part of progression i think it was a very good story uh and you know hopefully we get to see gentle and la brava again i don't know if we will maybe he'll be reformed but we finally have Deku arriving, and they are all getting ready. They're antsy. The, the festival is about to go off, uh, and we have him changing clothes. And we then have one of the best performances in this series. Like, I really, really love this song. It was a banger. It was great. It was enjoyable. Uh, and we saw how, like, this episode also gives us a little bit of Jiro, like, how her personality was, like, her decision-making, like, she wanted to be, didn't want to disappoint her parents, she wanted to be a hero, and basically, you know, why she chose the path that she did, and that was cool, it was really cool, she had an astounding performance, it was great, everyone was entertaining, and then the part where kind of you know melts everyone's hearts is with when we have eddie smiling and honestly i was so happy to see that i really was i was really glad that we get to see eddie smiling she like if you guys remember if you see that scene where she starts smiling like the purple and black kind of like wash off of her and that's when i said that i feel like this arc makes a whole full circle like this whole season because it wasn't resolved yet the whole overhaul arc wasn't resolved because it was still Eddie because we didn't, still didn't see her happy. She was still kind of like a numb child. And now they gets to be washed away from her. And it was just so great to see him. Like, and Togata's face, like, it was perfect. I loved seeing how he was smiling and happy, genuinely happy to see her smiling. That the sacrifice that he did was worth it. And, I, you know, I just really love that scene it was really great it was like a proud father moment for him and um i loved seeing deku's reaction afterwards you know him himself crying like her two dads are just so happy to see that she's smiling but the performance was so great everyone was blown away those that were bad mouthing actually came out afterwards and apologized and it was fun to watch you know what bagago you know was even ramped up about it i love that the crowd was also calling out yeah Rosa's name like i love that they call the best girl's name out like that's just awesome you know and so it was really good uh, there and then we get to see that everyone is trying to get to the pageant mineta was antsy about it and we watched them you know having like the girls participate and 
obviously we knew who was gonna win like i felt bad for kendo i really did she she was kind of cool but nejire was oh my god she's like on a whole nother level here she makes a nice little flower and dance and it was just really cool to watch and so she ends up winning and we also watched what was going on with everyone else it was like everyone was enjoying themselves going to different things haunted house and cooking uh just different events it was just really enjoyable for everybody so it was really nice towards the end that everyone was not only recognizing you know class 1a for what they did you know the play was also fun to watch and so there was just a bunch of everything and then towards the end where we have that one last moment with eddie throughout this for the season i guess you could say where we have them uh giving uh well deco giving her a candied apple it just made me smile too i was like she finally got one of those two and she enjoyed it so it was really fun and then of course we get that final scene with la brava and gentle honestly i thought they were gonna make some kind of breakout but they didn't and i don't know i feel like maybe gentle maybe repenting at this point but who knows but a very great arc i loved how it ended um i think everything went full circle and it was just enjoyable to watch just musical and everything but guys that is it for me i hope you guys have enjoyed if you guys have leave a like comment down below and if you're new to the channel subscribe it always helps and stay safe take care of yourselves and others and i'll catch you later Estoy yo bellaqueando con la luna y vamos pa' mi cuarto y perdemos ahí. Lo calle, luna y el pato y los pelcos que yo tengo.